Hi, my name is Bob Barson. I'm 53 years old. I, 12 weeks ago, had cervical surgery at the fifth level. Um, the biggest benefit I've received out of my surgery is use of my right arm and hand. I woke up one morning and it was pretty darn numb and, and um, I went to give grab a glass, to a coffee mug and it fell out of my hand and I went, oh boy, I have a little challenge ahead of me here. I've had radiating pain in my neck and to my arm, you know, for years I just kind of nutted it up and just went with it and it started getting worse and worse. and. From having back surgeries, knee surgeries, just wasn't a priority. You know, when my back would be really, really bad and just where you just can't move. You've heard the stories. Um, that was the most important thing. So the neck was always, was always there, probably for 10 years. But the morning I woke up and lost feeling, I had no idea it was my neck. I just knew that I had a problem, so I made an appointment to see Weber, and he suggested I get an MRI, which I did, and a couple days later, he shared with me I had bone spurs, and uh, knowing me and the approach I'd want to take, he felt there's only one way to go, and that's remove them. So we went ahead and did that. Fast forward to surgery. The day, and the day of surgery, I, re I recall I got, I was the first surgery of the day, so I had to get in there about 5 a.m. I felt pretty good, but I just wanted to see my doctor, and um, leading up to him showing up, I just heard so many really positive comments about how he, he conducts his business and how he prepares for his surgeries, and then there he was, Dr. Weber showed up, and uh, it was very comforting to me to have him there. Uh, he asked me again if I was comfortable with everything. Of course I was and we just proceeded forward. The next thing I remember is waking up instantly feeling different. And I had no pain in my arm and I had feeling and movement and um, just different. So going into physical therapy I think I wasn't cleared to go into that for a few weeks. Then once I did, um, the professional healthcare providers that were handling me in there and the athletic trainers that were in there were just very instrumental to, to pushing me and getting me to where I'm at. I think uh, right now I'm probably at a level where most people probably aren't or you know, maybe there are some people at this level, but I feel that uh, I got there rather quickly through through them starting to understand who I was, what I was about, and me showing up consistently, I think made a big difference as well. So overall, you know, they get an A-plus as well to having me sit in this chair and, and be able to share my gratitude to the whole organization. The providers here are excellent. If you have a chance to utilize the provider that I got, I had a chance to utilize and the athletic trainers I got to utilize, absolutely go for it. Dr. Weber and um, a lot of gratitude towards a gentleman by the name of Kevin in the um, other end of the operation to getting me to this point. Twelve weeks later I'm sitting here and once again they, if they watch this video they'll want to they'll get me in trouble. However, I feel I can do anything. Um, I know it's not proper for me to do some of the things that I want to do and I will not do them because this was the most critical surgery that I have had. And once again, just the confidence level that I have as a result of being and having everything done here is just incredible.